Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Those outliers in the game. What do I mean by outliers in the game? Now, people who follow me definitely know I always promote body game, you know, definitely as a foundation. And then you got a ton of people, a ton of, mainly men. Who are promoting that whole thing about, you know, the man's, you know, facial features and all of that stuff. You got to have that. You got to be handsome. You got to look like a Tad Chad or Tyrone to get a woman. And in general, that's true, y'all. Shoot, that's why I promote the body game, right? But you got some outliers up in this joint. You got some outliers. And anybody who actually spend time in the streets... Anybody who spent time in the streets had to have seen at least that one dude. Yeah, yeah. At least that one dude, right? Who was facially challenged. Even women say he was facially challenged, just to be clear. Because, you know, I already did a, a podcast on men judging other men's faces. But I'm talking about one of those dudes, the women saying it, <laughs> the women saying it. And you could definitely tell whether he built it now. He was like, well, hold up, dude, all scrawny or dude overweight, chubby or something. And definitely like the height thing, that definitely not over six feet. And you can't even say he got any style in there. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, y'all need to, uh, I don't share stuff on here no more. So y'all don't need to know what I just did. Right. So, I mean, look, you know, this guy don't look like he got nothing that a woman would like. And then if you might even know him, knowing this dude don't even have money. This dude don't even have money status. He might work a minimum wage job, but he knocking down women like crazy. And I don't mean one of those dudes to be like, you know, getting those fours and below. That dude be getting the sevens and the eights and everything. I mean, he be getting his. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? He be getting his. He be tearing up some women. And he be, tell he be telling you, too. He tell you. You be sitting there with your mouth open. You be like, damn, how you get her? And the woman be all goofy and stuff. She be like, huh? And he's like, wait a minute. What the hell? And you you know you be listening to Uncle Ron be up in the gym all the time and everything. And you know you be doing all your good stuff and everything. Holy shit, all these youngins around here today. All right, but anyway. Y'all be, be doing all the stuff. And he's like, well, how he getting him? How he getting him? Actually, it's two things. It's two things. Because let, let's understand something at f uh, first. Getting women ain't no damn science. It's an art. Anybody try to say, well, the science says this, don't understand what science is. It's an art. So no matter what even I say, nothing's 100%. Nothing. I told people, there's always something else you're going to need. I don't care what it is for one simple reason. All women are different. I don't care. No matter how, only thing they really have in common is a vagina. And even that could be different because I can't remember that term for women. Like if they get penetrated or some or even at the tip, they they in a lot of pain. I forget what that term is. If somebody know it, say it real quick because I ain't had time to look it up before this because, you know, I go off the flow. But, you know, so, you know, women different. They go for different things. Now, generally, they go for a man that look a certain way. She, women will tell you that. And they all got their preference, but you get that guy don't even look good to him. Nothing, but it's, it's going to be two specific things that guy's going to have. Two specific things. One, even though he don't look like much on the outside, he's going to have that type of charisma that can connect to a woman. Remember what I said, uh, a select man needs three things. You know, at least one of three things. A good physique some charisma and that charisma is really just connecting to the women and then um like true masculinity like that primal thing right but sometimes people might just have one of them and i'm gonna be honest with you the one that has the biggest impact actually ain't the physique 
or even the masculinity because masculinity part is so buried so damn deep but it's the charisma so they're gonna have that one thing because everything you know everybody know it even if you know even uh, um dude having every dude ever met that one dude who's just he just charismatic he got the charisma of 10 men he's cool he's cool as hell it's like man it's a cool ass motherfucker you know so women get that same thing because see you understand something a lot of women out here they looking to connect to a man because you got to hit a woman physically definitely that's why i promote body game but you got to hit her emotionally you got to talk. So, like, you can talk. You can go up to a woman and just have a regular conversation with her and open her up. That's how much they like that connection. That's how much they like that connection. You just talk, and then if you can even add the ability to flirt, which I'm surprised dudes don't understand that simple concept. But I'm going to keep that to myself for now because people steal shit. Because I'll put something out there. All of a sudden, uh, you get a bunch of content creators and stuff. Like saying, oh yeah, this is what I came up with. Knowing they be watching my shit. Knowing they be watching my shit. Anyway, right? So, you know, you get some dude, you know, they, they can go off. That dude can get them in their emotions and then that opens up their defenses. And just to be clear, there ain't no magic word, but that dude just cool as fuck. He get in there now, yeah, he don't get, he typically, typically ain't gonna get that woman on that like quick thing in that first three seconds, but if he's in a position where he can talk to her, please. I've had women come back and tell me that. They talk about some dude, cause women be telling me all this shit. Women be telling me all this shit. So, you know, you get that woman, um, they come back, they say, yeah, mama, you know, I got with this guy, I say, yeah, he was fine. She was like, no. How many times you get with him? 20. <laughs> Seriously. I've lost count how many women done said it because women be telling me they're private shit. You know? And that's just, I can't even, you know, I try as best to teach that, but guys ain't listening. And uh, just real quick, don't hit me up privately or ask in the comments, well, can you teach us that? Motherfuckers, watch my videos and buy my books. Anyway. Anyway. Right, so you know, you get these women, they'll get with that guy, but it's always, always on that charisma or personality thing. That's why, even when, um, like I've said, you got some videos out there where they question the women, the women say personality and stuff, and people say, nah, as long as that personality is on a handsome man, in most cases, that's true. In most cases, that's true. But you get a guy whose personality is kicking so much and he can chill with the woman laugh joke with them even 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 bust them even bust them. be like and when i say bust them mean like yeah say some stuff say girl that that dress ain't hanging right make them laugh all that stuff boom right and that's one way because that creates a connection and everything that's the key thing because even if a dude got a real even if they real handsome got the killer body stylish and everything there's a lot of dudes who lose out. They got the great bait, but then when a woman talk to him, you know, the woman be like, he's all right till he open his mouth, and they be fucking shit up, right? So that's important. So you get some guys, they just really good with that, right? But then it's still something deeper they need because you can get some guys who got some charisma still don't be getting too much poop, right? The women might be cool with being their friend. The second part, those guys got to get, they don't have any fear. They just bold. You know what? They know they ain't six feet. They know. They know they shouldn't have had that whole slab of ribs that time in a potato salad, cherry pie, and some beer. That's what make it hard on me to work out sometimes. You know, they know it. In fact, Rom go up to him and say, hey, man, body game, hit that gym. You know, come watch what you eat. And they be like, Rom, you know you want these ribs, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Just get just one rib. You know, one rib, bro. And I got some buffalo wings over here for you, too. <laughs> like, but the thing is, with those guys, they don't give a fuck. Seriously, they bold. They don't give a fuck. They know what they look like. They shit. They might even clown themselves. They'll clown themselves. They say, yeah, I'm ugly. I'm overweight. Yo, I'm skinny. Shit. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they, they don't give a fuck. Like they got zero approach anxiety, zero, zero. 
Shit, I knew that from my own experience back in the day before I really got into body game. Shit, I went no shit. I went all like this and everything. I was like, shit. But I just approach. I ain't give a fuck. Some women even like that shit. I ain't get everyone, but shit. I ain't had zero approach anxiety. Like, they don't care. They don't say. They don't be on one some afraid to say something because they think it'll annoy the woman. They'll say whatever's the fuck on their mind. They'll approach her, you know. See some fine ass woman and with a fat old ass and shit. They say, hey, girl, you, you got a big fat ass. Why don't you back that thing? <laughs> I mean, they don't care. And some women be like, you know, some women, of course, going to be like, you know, mad and all of that and offended and all of that. And dudes like, hey, whatever. But some other women be like, <laughs> you so nasty. It's a deli, it's a gay for y'all. If a woman say something like that, like call your bad boy stuff, but they laughing, it's a good thing. So, they look, they just both, they don't give a fuck. That shit's totally inside, and I'm gonna tell you what with it. It's powerful to the point that when they hit a woman, they got that charisma, they bold, they got all those personality traits that can really touch her, their emotion. That dude start looking better to the woman. They be like, yeah, his nose crooked, but he fine. Or, you know, yeah, he got a big old water head, but, you know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Seriously. He's like, got that big old stomach, and, but he be, they be like, well, it can, it can lay it can lay on my clit. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's a deal. I think that's why women like a guy with a little bit of a gut, because he laying on that clit. I don't know. Lay on that shit and grind. Trust me. Trust me. Just grind the woman. She'll thank you. Shit. She'll thank me later. Shit. She said, Who told you how to do that? Oh, Uncle Ron. Shit. What's his email? <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's no joke. Seriously, though. They get these guys, they just got that, that shit totally inside. They ain't worried about their outside shit. Because you know what? At the end of the day, there's only so much you can control. I mean, you can control your basic weight to an extent. And as I say to an extent, it's really tough with endomorphs. And if you just real slim like an ectomorph, you can, can you know, you can put on some. But it is really hard work. You know, as much as I promote body game, it's not easy. Yeah. I need to open up this window some, but I don't want to be drowned out out here. So I'll just tolerate this for now. Finish this job. Seriously, some that's tough and sometimes they don't need to. Because really, but they just know how to make that connection. And plus, what if I said, these women out here want sex. They don't have to be in love with the motherfucker that has sex. Shit, they don't have to be in love with a dude or even always have lust. Sometimes they just want that good good and stuff. But see, a lot of women complain. A lot of guys act like they scared or won't approach them or something. Shoot. That guy with some charisma, and especially he bold, don't give a fuck. Shoot, they they be like, they be like, hmm, okay. I mean, they ain't gonna, they might not marry him or some shit, but let's be real out here. Everybody ain't trying to get married when they hook up. And that's a totally different thing. But shoot, you be get these guys, they already know where they stand, and they also know the woman ain't that interested in marrying, you know, or having that type of permanent thing. So, you know, they be like, shit. Let me take advantage of it, you know? I mean, and they just don't give a fuck. They just do it, and you know? And and that really contributes to sex appeal. See, that's why my main thing is talking about sex appeal, teaching that, right? Because that, that cuts over all this other superficial ass shit, you know? Even, you know what? Even if you don't have that alpha showpiece body or you don't have that model face, if, if women, you come off as sexy to a woman, and part of that is the charisma, part of that is the boldness, too, you know, and even the confidence, because if they think you're that bold, they think you're confident and know what you're going to do in the bedroom. In fact, to really have that boldness, you got to know what you can do in the bedroom. And just because just cause somebody look a certain way, yeah, that's a great bait, but... You know, it don't always come off that way. That's why, and I've talked to a lot of women. They'll say they'll get that uh, that guy like that. They'll purposely go for a guy they consider ugly because they feel like he'll work harder to satisfy. Seriously. And if he's showing he bold and everything, they're like, oh, shit. You know. 
I mean, seriously. I mean, yeah, definitely work on the bait because it make it easier. But, you know, you got some cats out there. And like I said, anybody who, like, take their ass outside got some real friends or been around enough people know some. And I can say I've seen a whole lot of them. I've seen a whole lot of them. Uh, to the point, it's tough to teach, though. It's tough to teach. You know, it's tough to teach. It's one of those things a man has to experience. You know, he has to teach himself. Ain't no magic to it. He got to just go out there. Seriously, ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. He just got to go out there and develop it. That's the only way. You can't sit in, like, some classroom and watch one of my videos. Most I can do is give you an idea as possible. But then you still got to do the work. That's why I've said, too. I say, get your ass out there. You'd be surprised. In fact, I'm just be real with y'all. If you... Only thing... It, it's really easy to get women out here, man. I'm just... I've told some women this. I say, y'all easy. <laughs> I did serious. I told... I said, y'all easy. The issue is men, like, hurt them damn selves and shit. Seriously. I mean, we got... I got to just be real with that shit. Men hurt themselves. They be hurting themselves and all of this. You know? They be hurting themselves, be like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that this, or talking all this shit about women. Man, shit, women ain't that complicated. I don't even care. I don't care if I offend women even saying that. Any women watching this, y'all ain't that complicated. It's easy. But the men, it's actually under the man's control, right? It's under the man's control what he do. Understand that shit. Understand that shit. Seriously. So, anyway that's all i have for today okay i'll get back with y'all later peace and blessings